Welcome back to Fox News at 9 a.m. In the words of Rebecca Black, it's Pi Day, Pi Day, gonna get down on Pi. And maybe that's not how the song went, but it is Pi Day. And Carol's here from Old Town Spy Shop to help us celebrate. And Hi. you had a poll for this one. I did on our Facebook page for the Old Town Spy Shop. We were like, sweet or savory? An apple pie with bacon or mm. a taco pot pie? Mm. And let the people speak. The taco pot pie came out way ahead. So wow, there you go. So here we are, taco so, pot pie. Taco pot pie. And you say it's easy to make. It's easy to make. So many people think of pot pie like chicken pot pie. Right. So this uh, savory uh, meat gravy kind of thing with some kind of cross topping on it is usually how Americans do it. So we're going to kick it up and make it a little bit Mexican and awesome. have a Mexican pot pie. Gotcha. So you start out with the casserole dish and you're going to spray it with oil like Pam or something inside. Gotcha. I use like stew meat, you can use ground hamburger, you can use chicken, you can use pork, it's so versatile, make it the way you like it and what you have at home and what your family likes. That works. So I browned it in a little bit of oil and then I used about a teaspoon of our great taco seasoning that we have and that adds that rich Mexican flavor to it and gives a little bit of kick. Gotcha. Then easy ingredients, I had found, we have some great salsa in the store and this is a black bean and corn salsa. Ooh, yeah. So that already gives you some variety. Then I found at the grocery store some fresh black bean and corn salsa, which has some great uh, green pepper in there and cilantro, and already oh, has your veggies cilantro. cut up, so you yeah. don't have to spend time doing it. Now, if you can't find that in your grocery store, go ahead and just cut up your own and then make your own little fresh salsa. And then I added some just some more um, tomatoes with chipotle chilies in it to keep the mm. flavor going. Get so I flavor. mix that all up with the meat and then I pour it into this casserole dish that's prepared and bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes. So that allows everything to cook all and really flavors. to meld together. Then the secret part at the end is that crust. So I just used a Jiffy corn muffin mix. You can use if you have a different favorite kind, go ahead. Prepare it like it says on the package and then lightly cover it across the whole casserole. So it's about a half an inch thick. Pop that back in the oven and it gets golden brown on top and steamy. And then I took some finely shredded, again, Mexican blend cheese and poured that on the top. So you have this rich melted cheese and the cornbread and you have almost like this chili-like consistency of the meat mixture in there and you're ready to go. You can top it with a little bit of salad, some sour cream if you want, guacamole, some avo if you guacamole. Want I've got some avocado on there. Again, tailor it how your family likes it, but it's really easy to do and you have dinner in less than an hour at home and the kids love it too because it, it says taco. It says taco and it says this is gonna be great on a cold day like today. Exactly, with yeah. these sub-zero wind chills Ooh. right now, this would be perfect for today, and you'll zip through the store and have it ready tonight. There you go, celebrate pie day with a little taco pot pie, courtesy of Old Town Spice Shop. We'll put the recipe on our website. Hey, keep it here, we got more coming your way. Fox 2 News, 9 a.m. Olé!